Hey everyone. So we're back in the kitchen and uh, today I'm going to do some more apple butter, but this time I'm going to use the crock pot. Um, I kind of don't want to have to babysit it and stay right by the stove. So I'm going to do the same recipe, except this time I'm going to do it in the crock pot. So I'll tell you guys how I'm going to do that in a second. I am also going to make something that is called an, uh, a dump cake. And if you haven't heard of a dump cake, then you don't know what you're missing. Okay, I'm going to make an apple dump cake. And I'm not using um, the fresh apples. I had already previously planned to make this before I started to make the apple butter. So when I make the apple dump cake, it's usually because I am bringing it to an event or um, I am sending it to somebody. So um, this is going to be sent out and um, it's very simple. It's only three ingredients. Yes, three ingredients. And when I tell you, well, four, four ingredients. Um, you will not be disappointed if you decide to make this. Okay, it is the easiest thing ever, but it is the most requested thing that people want me to make. And it's so simple. So I'm gonna tell you what we got. So we're gonna have to do two cans of pie filling. And you can do this with other flavors. You can do this with peach, strawberry, blueberry, whatever kind of pie filling you want to use. Um, I like to use pie filling instead of canned fruit because the canned fruit's a little bit too liquidy. So pie filling, whatever flavor, I'm using apple, and we're gonna need two cans. And this is for a, um, like a 13 by nine. I have a foil pan because I'm sending it out and I don't want to, I don't need a dish to be out and have to worry about getting that back. So two cans of pie filling, one box of butter, yellow cake, yellow butter cake. Now there's yellow cake and then there's like a golden butter. There's two different types of yellow cake. Make sure you get the butter one. You're not going to regret it. It's a lot better. Butter golden <clears throat> and then um usually i use about a stick and a half of butter okay and that's it and if you want to add cinnamon that was like the fourth ingredient if you want to add cinnamon then um that would be your fourth ingredient otherwise um just a regular uh apple filling the butter cake mix and then a stick and a half of butter now I use the sticks because I love I'll show you why I use them in a minute um, but you don't have to use a stick of butter I'll I'll tell you another way you can do that as well so let's get started okay so here are my apples this is the same amount of apples that I used in the last recipe and the same seasonings that I used in the last recipe. Everything is the same except I'm just putting it in the crock pot. I will link in the description the Art of Creation Homestead channel where I got the recipe and if you want to make this you can uh, head over to their channel and get the recipe from Angela. So everything is in here and I've mixed it up we're gonna cook this on high for one hour after that hour I'm gonna come back and I'm going to blend it all up because by that time it'll be nice and soft and cooked down at that point I'm gonna blend it and then I'm gonna turn it to low and cook it for six hours So the first thing we want to do is empty both of our cans into our pan. Don't worry about greasing the pan. You don't have to grease the pan. 
just put the apples in. Make sure you get all that jelly goodness that comes in the can. So we got our two cans. Make sure you evenly spread them out. They'll probably, you know, they'll spread out while they're baking anyway. Once they get hot and bubbly, they'll even out a little bit. So that's that. And then I like to add a little bit of cinnamon. Not a lot, just one little sprinkle across the top. All right, now we're gonna take our cake mix. I'm gonna sprinkle this across the top. Make sure you get the corners and the edges really good. I kind of like to go around it. Make sure that I get enough everywhere evenly. All right. Now you can take your spatula of spread it evenly across make sure that all the corners and sides have cake mix there I try to kind of make sure that there's no apples peeking out but you know it's not going to be perfect so just like lightly pat it down. I try to make sure that all of the edges are nice and neat, especially if I'm sending it away for someone. I have to make sure things look neat, presentable. That looked a little uneven there, so I had to. All right, so that's done. And now we're gonna move on to our butter. So for this part, you wanna make sure that your butter is cold, okay? Because it'll slice better. And then you just slice it into little pads of butter, trying to keep them uniform if possible with the same size. Now this one I'm not gonna slice all the way. It wasn't counting, but usually it's about a stick and a half. So then what we're going to do is switch these out. We're going to take these pads of butter and we're going to line them across the cake. Now, it's up to you how close you want them. It's up to you how close you want to have them. Um, I usually do about a quarter and a quarter of an inch apart. They will melt and they will spread out a little bit. So if you can picture how thick your pad of butter is and imagine how much it's going to spread out you want to try to cover as much surface area as possible without 
you know, putting the butter right next to each other. So, I find that about a quarter of an inch thick <clears throat> and a quarter of an inch apart usually works for me. And then sometimes I have to break them into smaller pieces to get the last row. One more pack of butter. All right. Let me wash my hands and then I can show you the top. Okay, so here's what it looks like. If you can't already see that, this is what it looks like. Okay. So, we're going to put this into a preheated 350 degree oven and we're going to let this cook for 25 to 30 minutes. You want your top to be brown, not burned brown, but butter brown, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, guys, the... Um apples have been cooking now for a little over an hour and I got the um, hand mixer out and I mixed them up a little bit to see if they were soft enough and they are so now I'm going to go ahead and use my Vitamix because I don't have an immersion blender so let's get this in the blender what I'm going to do is take my insert and bring it over to the blender all right now I'm going to ladle it into the blender See, there is a maximum capacity on there, so I don't want to exceed that. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up to there. All right, that should be enough. All right, and we're going to blend this up. Wow, that is like pure applesauce. So, that's a powerful blender there for you. Um, here, let's get a better look. That is the end result. All right. So I'm going to get the rest of this blended up, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, we got our last blender full of butter. That is perfectly pureed. All right, so now... We are going to let this cook on low. 
for six hours. Okay, and that's going to give it the time that it needs to thicken up. And then we'll be back. All right, so in the meantime, I took the apple dump cake out, and this is what we got. This is what we got. It's bubbly. Those brown bits are buttery, golden buttery crust. The apples under there are piping hot, bubbling, okay? But this is what your end result is going to be. And believe me when I say, people love it. I mean, love it. So that's your, ap your apple dump cake with three ingredients, four if you add the cinnamon. You definitely want to let this cool before serving it and before covering it. So I'm gonna let this cool all the way before I cover it because I don't want the top to get real soggy. So I want the edges and stuff to stay kind of crisp. And then um, once this is cooled down all the way, then I'll put the lid on. Well, it's 8.20, so we're going to check on the butter. Alright, so this is the four jars of apple butter I processed. This jar over here is just a extra jar that I had on hand. Um, from spaghetti sauce or whatever that I had bought intentionally um, to use this jar but this jar was not processed this is just gonna be for the house because the last batch of apple butter I made the extra is already gone so <laughs> this is the second extra and then I have four more jars processed all right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.